Hi. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, welcome to our series on Thanksgiving. <clears throat> and um, it is a season of Thanksgiving. And Jesus is the reason for the Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is made up of two words. Thanks and giving. Thanks and giving. <clears throat> Thanks means an acknowledgement. <clears throat> an acknowledgement. An appreciation, a credit, a gratefulness, a gratitude, recognition. When you have all of this given to a person, an individual, our Supreme Maker, an acknowledgement, appreciation, credit, gratefulness, then you are said to be doing thanksgiving. <clears throat> well, the word give means to bestow on, to commit, to confer, to consign, to contribute, to deliver, to donate, to grant, to hand over, to make over, to permit. So many words. In simple terms and language, it simply means to offer, to give, to recognize an acknowledgement. And so, as the year comes to an end, not only end of year, all the time, every minute we are to give God the praise, we are to thank Him, we are to glorify Him, we are to magnify Him for bringing us up to that point in time. When you are eating, whatever we are doing, we are supposed to be saying, God, thank you. Thank you for the privilege of doing any of those things. And so this is why we are here this morning, to give God the praise, to give God the thanksgiving. And uh, some people who are against the church so much and see every opportunity to attack the church, say they've come again and thanksgiving. They are looking for money. And they send envelope to say, Harvest Thanksgiving, this and that and this. <clears throat> it's the pastor that is out to make money. We are here to say to you that the pastor is only a representative. The pastor is an ambassador of the heavenly kingdom. So he's not talking for himself, but just saying what the scripture says. And the scripture says that it is good for us to give thanks unto the Lord, to come before his presence with thanksgiving. I read Psalm 50, 14. <clears throat> Excuse me. Psalm 50, 14. Psalm 50, 14. says, Offer unto God thanksgiving. Offer unto God thanksgiving. Don't murmur. Don't complain. Don't say, why me? Don't say, why not? I've showed you how we are expected to thank God even when things are not okay for us. Even when we are crying. Even when we are weeping. <clears throat> the Bible still wants us to be grateful. To be thankful and so this morning we are saying jesus thank you adding our voice to all the thanksgiving that has gone on ahead of us psalm 50 14 offer unto god thanksgiving psalm 95 to say come before his presence with thanksgiving this is online tv it's not enough to just watch online we should also find a bible believing church and attend Last week on Church on the Air, Jordan 93.9 FM, a live interactive radio program, we brought a series that said, <clears throat> you have need of a pastor, the pastoral ministry. We have talked about who the pastor is, the job description of a pastor, why you should follow him, why not to follow him, how to disengage. And we brought a lot of clips on that. We are here to say that the pastor is only a representative of the heavenly kingdom. So you need a physical gathering, not only just online TV. He says, so we are to come before his presence with thanksgiving, bring an offering of praise, bring an offering of thanksgiving, be grateful, be thankful, live right, live well. And when you do that, your life can never, never remain the same again. Psalm 95 to say, come before his presence with thanksgiving. Psalm 104, he said, be grateful, be grateful, be thankful. Psalm 
Psalm 104b, Psalm 104b says, Be thankful unto him. Be thankful unto him. Psalm 140, 13. Psalm 140, 13 says, Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. So if you are not giving thanks, it means you are not righteous from what we have read. So God wants us to do that which is right. Righteousness is right doing. Give God the praise. Give him the praise. Be thankful. Colossians 3, 15. Be, be ye thankful. And everything give thanks to God. For this is the will of God. God wants us to thank him. So it's not the job of a, of a, a pastor. It's not pastor looking for money. End of year, pastor want to do Christmas for his, for his family. Pastor is looking for money for his family. No, it is God that have ordained it. It is God that wants you to come with, to, before him with thanksgiving. When you give God the praise, you are saying that God, I am where I am by your grace. I always tell you that Psalm 124 is my best psalm. He says, if it had not been for the Lord, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> if it had not been for the Lord, who was on our side? So thanksgiving, you say, ah, I have a maker. I'm not of my own. There is one that loves me so much. You say, oh, how he loves me. Oh, how my daddy loves me. I don't know why. I can only testify and say, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> how my daddy loves me. Yes, my daddy loves me. Oh, how he loves you. You don't know why. You can only testify and say, yes, my daddy loves me. So thanksgiving, giving God appreciation, giving him praise, giving him benevolence, acknowledging him. He's saying that I am where I am by the grace of God. It's not by might, don't forget. It's not by power, don't forget. But by his spirit, says the Lord. We sleep. We've just woken up now. And they say sleep is a second death. You don't know what is happening. Even those of us that pride ourselves, we say that we sleep light. My senior pastor will say to me, you, you are not sleeping. Why don't you try and sleep? Try and sleep. Try and sleep. <laughs> because it's like... <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he says I behave like a rat when we first got married. So over the years, I had to learn, you know, how to initially when I, 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 I facility was small, it was in the toilet, I would go and pray. Because every movement, I was always moving, moving. And when I move, it's prayer, <laughs> it's prayer. My mom, I learned that from my mom. My, her bedroom is, children's room is close to her mom's bedroom. You always see her the better once she turns she'll be praying, she turns she'll be praying. I said, ah, you behave like a rat, always moving. <laughs> always moving. So over time, you know, you need to leave the matrimonial bed just so that I can sleep because he's sensitive to touch, to noise. But those of us that even pride ourselves that we don't sleep, in a few minutes you close your eyes, you don't know what happens. So when you wake up, you must give him the praise. You must give him thanksgiving. As a young bride in Abiokuta, those of us who are fond of just waking up and not thanking God, we see it as a right. One of our neighbors, I'll never forget him, Toye, shouted, there was a distress call in the night. And by the time we would get there, Toye had died, blood running down his nose in the night. And they said that was how his father, before him, shouted and blood came out from his nose. I can still see him. His brother had a pickup. He's a salesman. That's now they now put him, put him, they put him in the middle. Somebody said, and they took him away. Like he's not dead, like he's sitting, but he was dead. And that was how they took him away. So when you sleep and you wake up, and they say his father died like that before him, you must give him praise. We've come to December now, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Oh, oh my God. August, September, October, December. So much has happened within the year. You are alive and my life. Let's give him praise. And let's stop the question of why me, why me, why me, why this, why that. The time we used to say all those was, let's say, mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Ephesians 5.20 say, giving thanks to God always for all things. I've tried to name a few. We can't name it all. The gift of life. Sleeping and waking up. Let's give him the praise. Father, we thank you. Visit our YouTube account. On that banner of love, Edith Ataka, you see that we are loading messages for, for you, messages of hope. When you see the news sometimes, 
when I have seen the news of that, I'm, maybe it has had to cry because of the atrocities that is going on. Gross inhumanity to man. But you need to feed your ear gate too with messages of hope. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Romans 10, 17. Faith coming by hearing and hearing the word. Feed yourself with the word of God. Positive word of God. Play music that edify, that give God the praise. And you find out that when others are crying, you'll be laughing. When their blood temperature is rising, even if you cry, like this morning I've cried, even on television also, cried. But it's a, a one of thanksgiving, knowing that in this helpless state, there is a God that is supreme, a God that is bigger than our problems, a God that is bigger than all the challenges. Luke 17, 17 assures us that, for with God, all things are possible. All things are possible. Luke 1, 17, all things are possible. And uh, when the angel brought a message to Father Abraham, he asked, when Mother Sarah laughed, the question came, Genesis eighteen fourteen. Is there anything too hard for God to do? Is there anything too hard for God to do? Just give him praise. Give him praise and see what happens. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May his countenance of favor and of mercy never leave us all. And you are there. You don't know Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, all this thing we are talking will be strange to you. Because you will be murmuring, complaining, murmuring, complaining. Growing up, one of the things I like with Christians I used to love them so much. I just stand and be looking at them. Because while we were an average family, we lived also amidst people that really had wants and needs. We were in a deprived environment, but we had our own house. And you can see families that really had nothing. But you can see the peace radiating on them. You can see the joy. You can see a glow. There's something special about them. And that comes from a heart of gratitude. A heart that is at peace with his maker. You must find your resting place in him. You must find your resting place in him. I have found my resting place in my God. You must find your resting place in him. If you find your place in Jesus, nothing like high blood, high blood pressure. High blood pressure will go away. You'll be at peace. You'll be at tune. Because you know that one that is bigger than you, stronger than you, bigger than the biggest, stronger than those beating the chest against you, is on your side. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. <laughs> you can pray that prayer and remain the same. If you said it from a, a sincere heart of repentance, if you said it inviting Christ into your heart, in truth and in spirit, your life can never, never remain the same again. The problem is a lot of people don't say it with sincerity. They pay deep service to it. Don't pay deep service to it. And as you do that, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. You never remain the same again. You not go back to your vomit, but you grow to be a giant. You grow to be a spiritual giant, physical giant, financial giant. Whatsoever God has ordained you to be, you shall be it in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Find a Bible-believing church to attend this church on the air. Does not replace the church. Find a church. Need a pastor. Need a pastor. On YouTube, we have loaded them there. Last week on Jordan 93.9 FM, our live interactive program, we said the, in the pastoral ministry, the topic was pastoral ministry. So many topics came under it. And in one of it, we said you need a pastor. God bless you. Locate your man of God prayerfully. Those that follow Christ, follow them. They must be Christ-like, not the ones that are doing another thing. No matter the anointing they carry, dish them. They are not of God. They are not of God. Follow those which are righteous. Holiness must be at play, must be seen. You cannot be perfected, but it will be seen that there is a genuine love for Christ that is exhibited in the Christ-like behavior. Thank you very much. God bless you for streamlining with us. God bless you. We we'll continue with more clips. Visit, share, like. On Facebook, we have five pages. Search the scriptures. When you pray and I pray, ministers of the truth, church on air, 
they are all vibrant pages that are edifying. We came on air to make friends for Jesus, not for ourselves. Visit our pages like them and make friends for Jesus. God bless you.